Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the importance of auditing when you have a cryptocurrency. So a lot of these cryptocurrency projects are very complex, they involve multiple layers of code, and you fall into this trap of believing whatever the developer says or believing whatever the core team tells you about this particular project. If they tell you it's going to do 1 million transactions per second, you just believe it because they said it. There's really no way of verifying unless you have some sort of advanced computer science background, you know how to code, or you're just familiar with the projects and you know you have a lot of time on your hands or you have a lot of resources to fully explore these projects. So why do I speak about the importance of auditing? Because like I said, we could be just being sold dreams from these cryptocurrency projects. And this is what I like about Cardano. Cardano on paper looks amazing. What they've produced right now looks amazing. But at the end of the day, let's take this very seriously. I can't go and verify the veracity of the code behind the Cardano settlement layer. I can't go and verify um, what they're working on in Haskell or whatever they're doing in Rust or whatever project that they're working on. I have to take the word I read and I take the word of the project that is being taken that is taking place. But I cannot verify with 100% authentic um, with 100% accuracy that this is what's going on. I am not a computer scientist. I do not know how to code. My skills are not that advanced in this particular subject. So, why is this important? Cardano has implemented a, an auditing team. I read an article today from the Cardano Foundation about um, a company called FP Complete. It's one of the auditing firms that is auditing the lines of code that Cardano releases, and especially in Haskell. They're, they're a Haskell uh, code analyzer, you can, you can pretty much call them. And this is extremely important because not only does Cardano adhere to strict deadlines and their strict roadmap, but at the end of the day, they're also getting audited at the exact same time. So any mistakes are getting cleaned up. They really want to build perfect code because at the end of the day, you can start off a project. It can look beautiful. You know, it's you write your first 100, 500 lines of code and it's perfect. But when you get to the code line number 100,000 in your project, you may just get tired and as human beings, the effort may just slack towards the end. Everything always starts off beautiful in the beginning. Towards the end, the work just kind of dwindles down. So using a company like FP Complete, and I checked their pricing for Haskell, for Haskell um, verification, and you know, they can run from tens of thousands to 100, 000, hundreds of thousands of dollars to verify this code. So they are putting the money out there to verify their project. And with these verifications, they can go and make changes and actually complete their project in a good fashion of time while making no mistakes technically because all their mistakes are being cleaned up. And then another thing that this company also offers is they also clean up code from existing libraries. So if you know code or you're familiar with code, a lot of developers already have preset code to do particular functions. It's almost like a copy and paste model and they're building different blocks. You know, their code looks different, but um, if there's a code, let's take a website, for example, if there's a code to put the back title towards the code, like the title of the website, there may already exist a code base, a library for that. So you just have to plug and plug and chug. So you just plug that and then continue your code. And you know, it's, it's all about sticking different modules here and there, but the code may already exist. So a lot of cryptocurrency projects are already using existing code stacks or existing libraries to build out their cryptocurrency. So this company actually goes in and audits the libraries to make sure that there's no, there are no errors within the libraries. So not only are they um, auditing Cardano's new code, but if Cardano seems to, if Cardano is using an existing library, they're going to make sure that that code is efficient, that code is concise, 
that code is written in the correct form of Haskell before it continues. And this is why Cardano is such a complete and unique project. They are really building this project from scratch. And you can't sit there and say that they are copying code or they're um, they're just using existing projects and just building off of it or just forking and just using the work of an existing platform already. They're really building it from scratch. There are not many cryptocurrency projects that can do that. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for all of your support. And tell me, do you think this auditing process is um, worth it? Do you think that this expenditure that Cardano is paying for do you think it will be worth it in the end to have a clean and concise code base and making sure that Cardano is the most secure and um, most compatible, interoperable, and beautiful cryptocurrency out there? Let me know what you think. Until the next video, thank you.